One of my favorite books that I have read in my spiritual journey trying to understand creation and God is the book of Daniel. In the book of Daniel, we have an evil king, King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar has a problem. He sees the judgment of God. King Nebuchadnezzar takes one of God's children, a prophet, Daniel, and holds Daniel in prison. The reason, the motive, the king wants to know how to get out of the judgment of God by interrogating Daniel, by examining Daniel. The king thinks he can get out of the judgment of God, the writing on the wall, the hand in the wall, in essence. Let me get this straight, king. An eternal God, the elect one, who sees the beginning and the end before it even happens, of creation, who sees life and creation like a movie. Do you think the elect one, the eternal God, who's going to come here, is going to give you information which is useful for you? Do you think he's going to screw up when he sees his own existence, his own creation, his own life here, before ever it begins? Do you think the elect one would give you one piece of information which is useful for you, especially to get you out of the judgment? I think this is the definition of insanity. They're trying to cheat their way out by examining, by interrogating a prophet, not knowing that the eternal God sees what they're going to do before they want to do it and gives them nothing but poison back for them.